Okay, now we're going to do the crosshair off function. This is a pretty easy one. When the crosshair goes off, mouse dot show, and then cursor underscore MC, which is our little target, our crosshair, dot remove movie clip. That's capital M and capital C on remove movie clip. And that will remove the crosshair off of the stage, right? So we show our mouse, game's over, we show our mouse and we remove the, um, the crosshair. Or in this case, cursor MC is our crosshair. All right, now the all important um, game off function, which uh, when the clock has run out, game off is called. We need to write this function. Okay, the game off function, um, this is what I've got so far. Okay, reload underscore MC dot on release equals null. So we can't reload our gun. Okay, first thing gun off. Whoops. Okay, that's a no brainer, right? We turn the gun off and um, cross hair off. The function we just wrote, we're going to call, right? So we turn off the cross hair, remove it. Um, our on enter frame function, when we played our game, when we started our game, on enter frame, which is running at 12 times per second or whatnot, we set that to null. Okay, on enter frame equals null. And we're going to clear interval. We're going to call a clear interval and clear our time interval that we wrote. All right. Semicolon at the end. Um, okay. Then I did a lot of tracing. Uh, to get this thing to work, but we don't necessarily have to do that now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say set message set the message in our um, message, the thing that slides over. We're going to set the message equal to the message state which is still left over from the last time it was called when we clicked game on. Message state plus plus was called and the message is set to tell us, you know, your game is over, right? So um, set message, uh, pass it the uh, message state, and then last but not least, what we're going to do to reset our game essentially, to restart our game, is we're going to call our init game function, and that will reload everything from the library onto the stage. When it loads from the library onto the stage on the, the depth level, it will replace all of the other objects, and our game will be ready to run again. Um, anyway, that's what I got. Uh, let's see if I've made some mistakes. It, I know it works, but you have to, you know, type everything correctly. So, all right, welcome to the shooting gallery. Notice our time is 30, score zero. All right, next, next. Oh, there's our gun, reload button, our bullets. Right, ready, set, go. Right, and bam, we shoot that target. Um, here's a problem. You can shoot the targets that's already down target has not gone back to the up position. So that's one problem that we're having. Okay, I'm shooting. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Right. Let's see if we can go to the next level. Um, right. My score is pretty darn low. Okay, back to level one. Five points to win. Click here to start. Click here to start. Time is set to zero, score is set to zero, you know, boom, and our gun is good, and we're ready to go again. All right, and I'm going to double check to see why it is that our, um, our duck does not go back to the up stage. Let's see, how did I do this in my other one? File, open. I'm going to open my other finished file and see what the problem is. I'm guessing it might be in the target, 
So I'll go to target and say OK, jumps up and then goes back down. And I stop it right there. So that's not a big deal. Um, let's look at what I did in the code, see if we can find it. Um, every time a new, let's see here, don't be confused by the sixes. This was uh, notes to me on what I was changing. Um, let's see here, play game get new route. So when we go to get a new route, I change the target back to keyframe 1. So I'm going to copy that and put it in our game and that should fix that. So we go into our game, we go up to where we have get new route, the get new route function. Okay, get new route. And the first thing we're going to do is, I believe that was the first line, is put target, go to and stop one. And this will, when we get a new route, we will set our target, set target to stand. So now, we click here, we start our game, we shoot the target, right? We shoot the target and each time it finishes its route and gets a new route, it's standing up again, right? And you have to reload. There's a lot of things that I would like to fix in the game. Um, still, we have no sound. There's some problems. Um, but let's see if we can go to level two. Okay, I've got the magic score of five. So when the time runs out, I should go to level two. All right, level two. Now 10 points needed to win. All right, the game's good. Um, uh, we can turn off our traces that are tracing our routes here. We just need to go find them. Here's one trace. Turn that off. And see somewhere else here if we were tracing the route. Target, target, target. Yep, trace route down here. And turn that off. That was really helpful though to, to know what the routes are. So I'm actually going to remove this one because I, I don't need this one at all. This is not doing much for us. Anyway, I hope that helped. And if you go to danscourses.com, I will eventually post the full FLA flash file so you could compare my code to your code and make sure that you know you have the code correct. All right. Thanks.